Hey everyone, and welcome to another modding lesson on the Iron Workshop. For those of you who might be wondering why I am uploading this lesson again, some of my Europa Universalis lessons are quite outdated, both in the information that they contain and their structure. So this is me just giving them a fresh new look and a little update so that the information is more relevant and more accurate. So let's get started with this one. This is going to be a very simple one. How do you create a mod in Europa Universalis 4 in the latest version that is currently available? To do this, we'll need to start Europa Universalis 4, open the launcher, and in the launcher, we'll go to all installed mods. Here we have an option called mod tools. And in here, we'll press the create a mod button. Now in here you'll need to give the name of your mod, the name of the mod that you want to create. We'll just call it the test mod. This is the version of your mod. This is not where you select which version of the game the mod will be compatible. This is just the version of your mod. Next we'll select the folder that will contain all the files of the mod. So we'll call it the test mod just like this. Next, we'll select the tags. If you're not uploading to Steam, this doesn't really matter much, but it's best to select tags that reflect what your mod is about. Uh, we'll just select utilities, doesn't really matter, and click on create mod. Our mod has been successfully created and is actually already activated automatically by the game. So we can close the launcher or we can start the game to start playing our new mod. Now, if you want to locate the files of your mod, they will usually be located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, European Salis 4, Mod, and in here we have the testmod.mod file and the folder containing the files of the mod. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a like to boost both it and the channel. And I will see you in the next video, lesson, or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye-bye.